Welcome to the video. We are in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, experiencing something new, a new RV park, and here, a new restaurant. So I'm full. I am full too. It was good. It was good. It, and it was a lunch special, the senior lunch special. I had so much that I had to share. I had to give him part of my my um, hamburger steak. It was just too big. It was, yeah, but it was really good. It was, and they got good tea, guys. I even got my cup to go. It was good. <laughs> now, you had something else you wanted to tell them? Oh, yeah. I was talking about the tea. I am a tea snob. I like my tea just so. And they have very good tea, so I had to get me a to-go cup. That's all I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Well. We found Salem Breeze RV Park to be a very quaint park. Not a lot of sights but very, very well kept and very relaxing. This park does not offer bathhouse or restrooms. You must be a fully contained RV, but it does offer full hookups with power, water, and sewer and free waffles. So Nick's Old Fashioned Hamburger House is located in Bradley Commons in the little town of Welcome, North Carolina. And it was funny because we came in and the sign said, Welcome to Welcome. <laughs> also located right next to Marco's Pizza. First thing I want to say is if you come during lunch you better get here before lunch you better get here by 11 o'clock yeah don't eat breakfast just no. come yeah come here 11 11 15 and have your breakfast in, very the, in the good. form of a burger yeah they had a lot of uh, choices mm -hmm. very good burger I mean very good burger cooked very good they don't they make it after you order it's not right. a not laying on a griddle somewhere yeah getting all hard and yucky so it was very fresh very good good size burger i mean as you can tell we got leftovers yeah. because neither one of us could finish eating our burger and they had real good uh options for burgers all kinds of burgers options mm. for sides but the line was out the door at 10 minutes to 12. yeah the line was out the door and turn, kind of turn around and look at all the cars and the people sitting out. It's not a very big place, so when you say line was out the door, still, that means that it's popular. I think that it was just a great burger. Mm -hmm. Great burger. Great service, too. Well, guys, we recommend coming to Nick's if you're ever near Welcome. I'm not going to say in Welcome, yeah. but if you're ever near Welcome, North Carolina. Lexington. We, yeah, Lexington area. Salem. Make it to Nick's. <laughs> really, really, really good food. It was. All right. So we're going to head on back to the camper. Okay. So 
guys, this is an example of their back end sights. This is site number two. It backs up to a little drop off, and then you got the uh, the woods behind you. We have here how your system is set up. You have sewer and water, and it says must use a pressure regulator, high pressure. I like how neat this is, uh, probably for to keep it insulated. And then you have your power pedestal with uh, the different uh, amp services, 30, 50, 30, and 20. And then you have this, if you have a rear uh, living and you have a window in the back, you have this this scene behind you is really peaceful. And then, so this is what it looks like from this view with the other campers, which are all pulled through. So that is uh, what a back end site looks like. So let me show you what our site looks like. Let's go this way. We have a pull through site. And it is site number 24. And we are. And it has the same setup as the other site power, water sewer has plenty of room for both vehicles I don't know the exact length of the site but as you can see we have both Vehicles pulled in with plenty of room to park. Good morning, fam. I hope everyone is well today. Uh, we are in the middle of move day. Today is Sunday, and we are moving to our next uh, campground. So I'm on in the inside doing stuff cleaning, making sure uh, dishes are up, nothing can fly around while we're traveling. Dwayne's on the outside doing his part. But today, specifically, um, I want to talk a little bit about our travel, what we've been going through in the past few weeks. Well, actually, it'll be for the next two months, July and August. Uh, and I'm sure for a lot of you, July and August are your busy months. July and August have been and are going to be very uh, busy for us. We have commitments uh, with family, commitments with friends. Uh, and these are things that we had committed to probably before we even went full time. So getting this done and and the travel part and it seems like we are doing this we are meeting ourselves coming and going we're traveling the same highways ending up at the same campgrounds because they're convenient to our family and um, I'm at that point now where I, I'm ready to go I want to move but like I said we have committed to to these uh, events and functions and uh, we have to follow through um, as you can probably tell I'm stuffy this morning that's a sinus issue uh, but I'm still thankful because I am able to move and uh, as the word said move and breathe and have my being so that is the most important thing I can deal with that but I just wanted to share with you and to find out from other full-timers and other travelers, what do you do in the summertime when you have so many uh, 
family commitments and family events going on and and things you want to do uh, I know the magic word is no we can't do it we can't participate we can't come but we have never even from June when we left Goldsboro we've never left North Carolina we've been in North Carolina this whole time and um, I think we both are kind of ready to strike out and do something different but the whole month of August is already committed and so we'll still be here now we always love hanging out like I said with our friends and family um, that's a given I mean we're, we're family folks but at what point do you realize that you you gotta you gotta move on and you gotta say no so help us because we don't know but yes but any anywho today we moved from this spot which is a very nice campground small but very nice called Salem Breeze in Winston-Salem and we are going to uh, Concord to our spot that we stay there uh, we got to visit with our kids we get to visit with our kids and we have some other issues that we're going to handle while we're there and um, then yeah we'll let you know where we go from there because we're still in North Carolina so if you're in North Carolina and you hanging out anywhere that we are going to be or close to let us know you are part of our family so you get to hang out with us too so we thank you uh, thank you again for all of your support of our channel and if you find value in what we do and value in our in our videos please like share and subscribe also I'm asking that you join our Facebook page that you join our um, email list and that's just so that you can keep up with us. We can keep you updated on what's going on, where we're going to be, uh, what we're going to be doing. Those are the kind of things that we want to keep you abreast of. Also, we have memberships. Now, memberships is solely um, your choice. But we do appreciate any time that you show us support. Uh, monetarily so if you decide you want to become a member of either the road crew or the trailblazers which are our two um, membership levels please please do so go to our um, description page uh, hit the little button that says join sign up for whichever level you're interested in and you are a member of our team banks so we thank you in advance for all of those things we thank you for whatever you do we thank you for everything that you do for us and we just pray that you have an awesome day that um, travel for you if you are a travel travel is great and if you're not a travel traveler then thank you for traveling with us so we will see you the next time bye bye Good morning guys. We have a short travel day today. We're gonna to take our time getting things done and we don't have to be there until, oh, somewhere around one o'clock. So we're just gonna take it easy and work through our whole process of getting ready, getting things done and getting on the road. I don't know how many of you have one of these, but I have an extra gate valve on the exit of the, uh, sewer sewer system and what this does it gives me another level of protection <laughs> so to speak when you're messing with all these uh all the stuff that comes out of that so that's what i do and it keeps me from having a little surprise when i take that cap off 
And so we're gonna release some stuff here. Make sure we got dry tanks before we head out. I've already done the black. I spared you that. You're welcome. Oh, and get you one of these right here. This has really been um, a whole lot better for us making sure that our uh, pressure is not too much as far as the water is concerned when we're at different campground, campgrounds because it does change from one campground to the other. Uh, you're able to adjust it and make sure that you keep your pipes in your RV safe. I really like it. I really like it. I also need to check stuff back here, make sure it's secure. So, you know, things don't flop all over the place when you're going down the road. This garage has really been nice so far. I really like it. It's really not a, uh, a way to really, for us, it's been great. We don't have a bunch of toys. We have two e-bikes and but we are able to store stuff back here that we don't know what to do with or that we just don't need uh, at the time that we are camping. So it's been great. I still use my X chocks. Somebody asked me, he said, why do you still use those with this camper? I just think that any little bit of uh, whatever you can do to lessen the motion helps your jacks and you know your inside experience. The camper doesn't move much at all, but I don't know, I got them. Guys, if you're thinking about doing full-time RV travel, whether you're thinking about going full-time uh, like we're doing, living in your camper, or just extended travel, be ready for one thing. Be ready for exercise. <laughs> you know, some people say, man, camping's hard, you know, once they get into it and the work behind it. Uh, but me personally, I have enjoyed it because it has helped to keep me in better shape. I've actually lost weight, not because I'm worried about anything, it's because I've been so active. So that's one part of full-time camping that to me is a benefit. You are gonna be active. I don't care what size rig you have, whether it's small, big, you're still gonna have to get outside and do some things. So that's one thing to consider. If you're not willing to put in the work, this may not be for you. y'all think about trucks and truck I mean truck drivers and stuff but these guys are awesome they can back into these spots like back in the VW into a I don't know they're just good they're good and they know how to get it done now I just need to pick a spot. Oh, I'm gonna pick the one with that pickup truck because he should be.
He should, he's going inside. Oh, I should have gone to the end one. That's okay. We cool. Guys, we're gonna use our card today again. I prefer these uh, stations and all because I can get in just like the trucks can, use my cards, get some savings. So that's what we're gonna do.